Hi, I'm Keith Melton, the president of Cane Masters. Every day we have the pleasure of talking with customers and assisting them in determining the proper height for their walking cane. If you're using a cane for mobility, it's essential that your cane neither be too long or too short. If it's too short, your body will torque over to reach it. If it's too high, your body will be stretched the wrong way. A properly sized cane will allow you to offset some of your weight and protect either a damaged hip, a knee, a back, or other infirmity. But determining it is a precise measurement. We have a separate video that discusses and shows exactly how you can size your cane. You'll need another person to help you, but the measurement's very precise. Now, other times you don't have that time or you don't have a person to help you. So there is an easy and fast way to come up almost with the same answer. And it's a time proven formula that works for virtually 99.9% .9 of the people. If you take your height in inches, divide it by two and add a half inch, you'll almost always be just about the right height. So if you are six feet tall, you would be 72 inches. Half of that would be 36 inches. Add a half inch, you're right at about a 36 and a half inch. If you're five feet, eight inches, you would be 68 inches. Half of that would be 34. Add a half, you're 34 and a half inches. If you're five feet, three inches, you'd be 63 inches. Half of that would be 31 and a half. You add a half and you come up with 32 inches. The formula almost always works. And most importantly, you always want to estimate just a little bit on the longer range because you can later cut it off if it's too long, but there's no way to extend it if it's too short. And finally, if you do have a question, we're always here at Cane Masters and we'd love to hear from you.